Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, hi, Benny, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, I want to hear about you talking about uh, connection beyond social media because that's what everybody's turning to is social media. I'm talking about people over 50, people under 50. What do you know? Well, uh, social media networks can be great at connecting us with, you know, people at a distance. So a lot of people follow people that they don't know in real life that maybe they look up to or connecting with friends of friends. But those types of experiences are more passive and fleeting. Um, what's important to keep in mind is our strong personal connections that we already have with people because it's truly quality over quantity. Well, you say those connections we already have, but what about when people don't have connections? And what I mean by that, I was reading a study mm -hmm. and it says people over 50, they don't add new friends to their roster of friends. So mm -hmm. we know people move away, uh, they pass away, people fall out. So. If you, don't, if you have a small connection, how do you expand it? Right. Well, you know, social media can be great in moderation. It does allow us to have those connections that we otherwise may not have. But I also want to reiterate that social media in excess has been linked to in, like negative emotions like increased loneliness, uh, increased depression, and increased anxiety. So though I can understand for someone... Uh, age 50 and over, having that social media connection can be helpful, but as long as it's in moderation and not in excess. Does your scope include people who are younger than people 50 older? Did you look at different age groups like millennials and things like that? How are they doing with social media connections? Right. Well, you know, I, I partnered with Hallmark and they actually executed this study on personal connections and also comparing simple uh, gestures like sending a greeting card compared to social media. And what interestingly, what they found with millennials is that compared to all age groups, millennials actually were the ones that found receiving a greeting card to be even more meaningful, which we wouldn't think about, right? Because they're, they're the ones who grew up in the digital age, but it's probably because you know, digital communication is the norm. When we see that somebody took time out of their day to do something like buy a greeting card and write it out and send it to them, they actually felt more noticed. Okay, that's really interesting. What else did they find out from this survey? So with the survey, they also found that, you know, consumers agree that greeting cards provide a meaningful touch point, um, and it conveys important sentiments that we probably otherwise wouldn't tell them via like a text message where it's super quick and like an emoji or something like that. So in the survey, when um, they were asked whether they preferred a greeting card or a text message with the same message, they much preferred a greeting card and found it to be more meaningful. Okay, so sir, we looked at sending greeting cards. Are they saying, uh uh, uh, physical greeting cards or, you know, Hallmark is really good with electronic greeting cards. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's more so the actual tangible greeting card because that shows that they took uh, that gesture um, beyond some, something as simple as just hitting, like typing a quick message and hitting the send button. It really shows that they went above and beyond to go to the store and pick out a card and actually send it. Okay. This survey, is it online so people can find out and see more information about it? Because I think people need to hear this. Because, you know, sending cards or sending mail is almost a lost art. Right. Well, um, well, there, I would encourage people to, you know, for information on mental health tips to go to my blog, fortinfashion.com. But when it comes to the greeting cards, it's really, I would just encourage them to just think about someone special to them that perhaps they haven't. Uh, reached out to or even someone that they see in their day-to-day -day lives and just send a greeting card just because. Because sending it just because has been shown to be more meaningful than sending out on a, on a holiday. Um, well, I think going to the mailbox, getting mail is a thrill. So I could imagine getting a <laughs> greeting card. That should be a thrill also for people. Yes, These are definitely. called the simple pleasures. And Hallmark is on to something. But they've been around. How long has Hallmark been around? Ooh, a hundred plus years. It's been a while. Yeah, they're on to something. I think they know what they're talking about in this survey. Vinia, thank you so very much for expressing that to my listening audience. You guys, hey, listen up. Go get a Hallmark card today. Thank you, Vinia.
Thank you, Valder. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.